Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with another session of Ask BYS. So we've got a fellow boater um, in Michigan and he's got a Freedom 36 sailing vessel and Douglas asks, Jeff, I have a battle born uh, house battery bank of two 100 amp hour and a Group 27 AGM starter. So lithium batteries for house and AGM battery for starting circuit. Challenges, how do you go about charging a lithium battery and an AGM battery with the same alternator? So one way to do that would be a battery combiner. And a battery combiner, remember I've got tons of videos if you want to geek out about battery combiners. I probably talk about battery combiners more than anyone else on earth. <laughs> uh, you can find that, but battery combiners only share voltage. They don't manipulate voltage. And a battery isolator does not manipulate voltage either. It just shares it, but in a directional way. So both a battery isolator and a battery combiner don't allow for different battery chemistries to be put into parallel because they want a different charge profile. We know that lithium has its own charge profile, right? It's almost sort of like a dietary habit. Some people like lots of carbs, some people like a lot of fats, some people like protein. We all have our different preferences and batteries are the same way. They're a, li they're a little bit like us. Some of them want certain voltages, otherwise don't. They all fluctuate. They all want something different. But the key is how do you go about as a boater to have lithium on one side of the boat on the house and then have an AGM on the starter and how do you get your alternator recharge your lithium battery? The way to do this, and we're lucky, are what are called DC to DC charging converters. Prime example of that is uh, the Orion line, uh, like the constellation, if I mispronounce it, O-R-I-O-N, from Victron. And those devices allow you to have 12 volts input, and then the 12 volt output on the other side is actually manipulated, modified to be the right charging voltage that you want. So it's actually gonna go through a charge curve so it's going to take an input from one battery and it's going to modify that voltage to give the other battery what it needs. And the way to combine a lithium battery with an AGM battery and make sure that both batteries get what they want is to use, and we do this all the time when we do lithium battery banks, is to use a DC to DC charging converter. And that's how you solve that problem. So that was a great question from Douglas. Thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.